Did you know the field of speech language pathology was ranked fourth in the best healthcare jobs and was ranked seven in 100 best jobs by the US News? So, again, according to ASHA, and this was just back in November of 2020, 3.6% of SLPs nationwide identify as Black or African American. And that's crazy to me, right? So in the whole field, let's just say 100% of SLPs across the world, only 3.6% of us are Black or African American? Man, representation matters. Anyway, did you know that Hallie Q. Brown was the first African American speech language pathologist? So back in the late 19th century, early 20th century, um, Hallie was the first, was an equally renowned elocutionist. That's so cool. So Hallie Quinn Brown was born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. She was the daughter of two former slaves. Again, this is the late 19th century, early 20th century. Um, it's not really sure when she was born. As you know, back then they were not keeping records of when black people were born in this country. But shout out to Hallie who persevered. Anyway, so when President Lincoln um, emancipated the slaves, Brown and her family moved to Ohio. She went to the now infamous Wilberforce University in Ohio. Again, shout out to the HBCUs. Um, Hallie was a teacher, right? So not only back then were, so not only back then was it very against the law and taboo for black people to not only learn how to read and to write, but Miss Hallie Quinn Brown was not only teaching black children how to read and to write, she was also teaching them how to speak eloquently, right? Hence the name elocutionist. So Hallie Quinn Brown was everything and then some, right? She is a world-renowned African-American author, educator, public speaker. So it's people like Hallie Quinn Brown that is the reason that I'm here today, right? Again, 3.6% of speech language pathologists today nationwide are black. Oh, so to be one of the few I take that honor very highly. I don't know how many times I can say this in my Instagram posts, my Facebook posts, here on YouTube, like representation matters. If we cannot see it, sometimes it's hard to believe that we can achieve that. And so I grew up knowing black SLPs and now I'm a black SLP. Um, and so here at Speak Wonders, I make it my mission to reach back and pull up some of those recent SLP grads. Um, and it's just very important to me. I had a great CF experience. Um, I had a really great CF supervisor. She was not black. Hey, Emily, but she was great. And so I wanna take the experience that I've had so far in this profession um, and the people that have poured into me. And I just wanna do the same to, again, like I said, future black SLPs to be. So I hire CFs to work my practice. I don't mind supervising and signing off on clinical clock hours because I get that chance to do that one-on-one, -on -one, that teaching. Again, um, your first experience right after grad school, your first work experience is super important. It kind of, in some cases, it will kind of shape how your profession or your career goes like i know people who had a horrible cf experience in the public schools and they never want to work in the schools again although they like the school schedule they like the work hours they don't have to work on weekends and holidays but that first cf experience was horrible and so now they're a hospital-based therapist 
for life and you can't tell them anything else about schools right and so i don't want that for young black SLPs coming out of school if i have anything that I can offer, again, that I can pour into a young and up and coming therapist, I will, right? Because I got that same support. Um, and that's what we need, right? It's 3.6% of us, we had to stick together some way, somehow, right? Um, so yeah, I am going to drop some links in the description box, more information on Hallie Quinn Brown, the first black speech language pathologist in the United States ever. So I'm gonna drop that information in the description box. Educate yourself. <laughs> um, I wanna thank you guys for watching this video to the end. Learning a little bit more about me and about the profession. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe like comment subscribe forget to hit that bell notification below so that when i post a new video you'll be the first to know all right y'all it's been real thank you for tuning in again and i'll see you in the next one